Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing how to use the Hugs Enclosed background stamp in two different ways, so let's get started. For my first card, I start by stamping the Hugs Enclosed background stamp onto Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock with Versamark and heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Next, I blend the background with Distress Oxide inks in Festive Berries, Abandoned Coral, Picked Raspberry, Dried Marigold, Scattered Straw, and Squeezed Lemonade. The embossed areas will resist the ink, revealing the stamp design. The main stamp from Hugs Enclosed is a 6x6 background, but the set also has a bunch of cute envelopes and letter stamps, and several sentiments. There's also a coordinating die set for the envelopes and sentiments. Once I finish ink blending, I use a soft cloth to buff any excess ink off the embossed areas. Off camera, I end up adding a little bit more squeezed lemonade to the bottom so it's a little bit more noticeable. Next, I stamp the main sentiment and a smaller sentiment from Hugs Enclosed onto black cardstock with Versamark and heat emboss it with white embossing powder before die cutting it with a coordinating die. Then I stamp several envelopes and letters from the set and color them with Copic markers. I color the hearts pink and then add a little shading with toner gray markers to the envelopes. Then I die cut them with the coordinating dies. Off camera, I trimmed the background panel down to 4 by 5 and a quarter and adhered it to an A2 white card base. I adhered the envelopes in a cascade across the panel and then added the sentiment with foam mounting tape to finish the first card. For my second card, I wanted to focus a bit more on the background stamp image. I started by blending Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers, and Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxide Ink onto a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. I splatter it with water and a little shimmer spray, and then trim it down and adhere it to a white card base. I didn't worry about blending the full panel because I knew some of it would be covered by the background stamp. Next, I stamped Hugs Enclosed with Versafine and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Then I used scissors to fussy cut along the edge of the design about a third of the way up the panel. I 
I colored the hearts on that third of a panel and then trimmed it down to be four and a quarter wide. I adhered it to my card base with foam mounting tape and then added the sentiment with regular ATG adhesive to finish the card. And that's it! I hope this gives you some more ideas on how to use those background stamps in different ways. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in using background stamps and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting! Bye!